What's up, Geminites? Gem Mint here with another Omnibus Haul. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about some books. Comic flow, they can't stand it. I'm incredible, unforgettable. Something like Gem Mint Collectibles, A. All right, before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Our boys over at ThatSpidermanBooth.com have a huge giveaway prize for their mystery boxes. As you know, we've been working with them for the last couple of months now. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed to get retail value. And when you use the code GEMMINT at checkout, you get $10 off anyway as a one-time use per customer. One box for this current mystery box will have this incredible Hulk 181 graded at a 6.0 by CGC, the first full appearance of Wolverine. So basically, everyone's going to order a box. One lucky person is going to get that box. But either way, you're going to get your money's worth. So if that's SpidermanBooth.com, use the code GEMMIN at checkout for $10 off. And expect the shipping to be about four to six weeks. They're a little bit behind on shipping because they do this twice a week. This box is going to run until Wednesday, March 11th. So you got to get that order in today, which this should be dropping on Monday uh, before uh, Tuesday night is up. All right, guys, got a little haul in today. I'm really excited about Berserk Volume 4. This is the deluxe edition from Dark Horse. Uh, me and Fee are super excited to read this and drop a review ASAP. We are kind of at the edge of our seats with what's happened at the end of the third deluxe edition. So we are going to probably read this today. Uh, this These deluxe editions have a $50 price tag on them. Let's flip through some of the artwork on Berserk. All right, so these uh, Berserk deluxe editions, they always come with like this piece of paper that's inside the cellophane with it. I'm not really a big fan of these because what am I supposed to do? Do you keep this? Do you throw it away? I think I have them stored somewhere. But Guts the Fear Black, the Black Swordsman, is back in this beautiful deluxe edition. I love the construction of these things. I love this whole feeling it has on the book with the, um, with the red logos and everything. Now, I usually do take off these stickers for parental advisory and this thing on the back. So I'll probably end up taking those off. So you read this like a traditional manga from right to left. I'm just going to flip through this and try not to get spoiled. It's black and white like most manga are. So a lot went down in the last volume. If you guys uh, are following along with us, you can check out our review on all three deluxe editions. We've been doing them as they've been releasing. And my first time reading this is in this format. So I haven't been reading this. I haven't been reading Berserk in like the original smaller trade paperback formats. Um, although I did read volume one and then we got the deluxe edition volume one. So these books contain three of those trade paperbacks in each one. It goes Nafuratsu Zad. All right, so, oh, nice eclipse. So it looks like I didn't get spoiled. Let's keep it that way. All right, next up from Valiant, we have the Exo Man Award Deluxe Edition Volume 2. I love me some Exo Man Award. This collects issues 15 through 26 from the most recent run that started in 2017. $50 book here. Exo Man Award is my favorite character of the Valiant universe for sure. I really need to grab the Deluxe Edition Volume 1 and bring these both downstairs to start reading them right away. Uh, I've read... The first run from the rebooted series when I did that whole big uh, Valiant read-through. So this was like the second volume. Uh, love me some XO. Let's go ahead and flip through it. All right, XO. We have Arik on the cover without the armor and with the armor. He got himself a lightsaber, it looks like. What do you got on here? Matt King, Trevor Harsin, Juan Jose, Rip. You got some others. So like I said, I love me some Exo. He's definitely my favorite character of the Valiant universe. I think a lot of people will say Bloodshot is theirs. But I just like his character. I think he has the most character development out of any of those guys. His story is just the most interesting to me. The The armor story is, is the most interesting to me. So, I don't know. I just really like Exo. So, book two. All right, so it looks like a little flashback scene there. Here we are in modern times. Hopefully that's a new villain. I think the problem with um, the Valiant universe is that they don't really have household name villains. Like, yeah, we know XO, we know Harbinger, we know uh, uh, Bloodshot. Now, to uh, Toya Harada is a, a household name, I would say, if you're a Valiant fan. But we need more Haradas, you know what I'm saying? But, dang, I can't wait to read this. I really, uh, I'm looking forward to this. 
All right, we have the Doom Patrol Omnibus by John Byrne. And what's interesting here is that this was solicited as an omnibus, but it doesn't really say omnibus anywhere on the book. Uh, it looks like they ended up calling this the Complete Series, which is kind of weird. I mean, not that it matters. I mean, it's the size of an omnibus. It has his complete run from the 2004-2005 series. Uh, but it's just weird that they didn't call it an omnibus and they called it a Complete Series because... What other complete series hardcovers are there out there? Just thought that was kind of odd. So John Byrne, he wrote and he inked, no, he wrote and he penciled this run. John Byrne didn't ink this, but I was flipping through this. It looks like really fun to read. I mean, mostly uh, I see a lot of Justice League heroes in it because it does start in JLA 94 through 99. Then it has 1 through 18 of the Doom Patrol run, and it has some other extras as well. But this was a $75 nonubus. <laughs> That's what it was. All right, the Doom Patrol Nanyabus by John Byrne. So this looks really good, man. I was flipping through this. Uh, let's look at it together. So together again for the first time. Here is the spine. I don't mind putting this up next to my other DC Omnibus and the other Doom Patrol stuff. That's fine. I just think it was an odd choice. I don't know what to say, man. So here's what the book collects below, like we've already shown or discussed. We have a wraparound cover with the artwork, so some John Byrne pencils there. You gotta love John Byrne. John Byrne. All right, so let's take a look, see through the book. So as you'll flip through, you'll notice right away, yeah, Superman, you're gonna see a lot of JLA characters, Martian Manhunter, The Atom. It looks like a really accessible Doom Patrol book. This might be the first Doom Patrol run that I actually read and review on the channel, man, because it looks like really interesting. I'm like, I'm digging this uh, accessibility, right? It just looks familiar. It doesn't look like something totally weird and off the cuff that you won't be able to follow. You know what I'm saying? So, so looking forward to this one, too. It looks really good, actually. Then you got some old school stuff in the back. And there you go. All right, next up, we have the Stanley Steve Dicko Master... Marvel Masters of Suspense Volume 2. So this is just continuing the pre-hero Silver Age stuff before they ended up making Fantastic Four, Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, etc. So these kind of uh, suspense tales. You have Tales of Suspense, Journey into Mystery, titles before we got into the superhero age. $100 price tag on here. Really nice cleaned up Silver Age artwork as we'll take a look and see right now. So let's bust out Volume 1 so we can kind of have it side by side with Volume 2. Marvel Masters of Suspense. Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. So see, Marvel knows what's up. you got to give us those matching spines, baby. It's all about that shelf space. And here are the back of the two. But, oh, you know what's funny? I think this is the actual hardcover on Volume 2. Nah, maybe not, but it's really similar. So Volume 2, spine, graphics... Oh, and I guess it's a wraparound, actually. So let's go ahead and unveil that thing. Cool. Now, as you know, fans of the channel know, this is not my era of comic books. But, you know, I do collect all Marvel and DC Omnibus. Unless it's like a heavy double dip that is all material that's already in other Omnibus that I have. This is more like historical stuff on the shelf man i mean i could flip through it whenever i want it it is a very well done book recolorized to look as good as it could possibly be and actually what's funny is i got fee out here she's reading the golden age captain america omnibus and she's going to do a review so she's actually into reading this older stuff me i tend to prefer more like copper age stuff 90s to modern stuff so but I love having the stuff on the shelf. You know, I, I'm also a collector at heart, so sometimes I'll collect an omnibus like this, and I might not read it ever. But that's just how I collect, baby. Last up, we have the Wonder Woman omnibus by Gail Simone. So this looks like a really nice book. I was flipping through it, trying to figure out what era this was, because it collects Wonder Woman 14 through 44, Wonder Woman 600, and Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman issue 1, and the 75th anniversary special, $75 book, which this one is called an omnibus. It actually looks like the uh, New 52 omnibus, the way that they kind of did the design on it. But I think this was pre-New 52. I'm not really sure. I, I couldn't really tell. But uh, Wonder Woman by Gail Simone, I was flipping through it as well. We'll look together, and it looks pretty cool. 
All right, and the last book for the haul. So, nice looking cover here. You got Gail Simone, Bernard Chang, Aaron Lapresti, and Matt Ryan. Creative team on this book. So, life comes full circle. Okay, so as you can see what it collects, 14 through 44 of Wonder Woman with issue 600 and a couple of extras. Like I said, it kind of has a same vibe as the Harley Quinn uh, by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmignotti books. It kind of looks like the... New 52 Omnibus, the Deathstroke, and the um, Aquaman and such. Well, I was flipping through this when I was, you know, stretching that spine out here. So you got Cheetah and Wonder Woman right there. Some nice artwork. Mercedes Lackey forward. Goes the cover for issue 14. Yeah, and the artwork looks really good, man. So you got some flashbacks there. I guess let me know in the comments. This must be pre-New 52 is, is what I'm assuming. I think it was from like the early 2000s. Got Aries. Black Canary. Got a ton of Wonder Woman omnibus now, man. I guess, you know, just right in time for Wonder Woman 84. Two Tusk Elephant. Damn. all right guys so that is the haul for today let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below like i said make sure you're subscribed to the channel hit the notification bell hit that like button we're dropping daily content we're doing hauls we do reviews statues and more so thanks for watching and you guys stay minty fresh peace they're saying I'm harmless, call me Cassidy, I'm bringing the carnage Story the farthest, I'm a psychopath with a joker's lap Bipolar, so there's two of me, and only one of you So do the math, I leave you stunned without the flash No Wally West, no Barry Allen, reverse flash They can't stand it, comic flow, they can't stand it I'm incredible, unforgettable, something like Jim and Collectibles Ay, I'm a Gemini and we get it right, we amazing No spider bites, so we doing reviews and getting the views Been in my ooze, book it a week, can see me Wednesday and see what I choose If it's about comics, then I got the news, so try to the channel and you never lose Ay, I show what I got and what's in the box On top of my comments whenever they drop Tell you what's coming and tell you what's hot We keep it professional We Jimmy Collectible